Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy Gaming. So today we're doing something a little bit different. You know me, you know I love Terraria and honestly one of my favorite parts of the game are actually the bosses. I play modded Terraria a lot as you all know and I mainly play it because I really want more boss fights when I play Terraria. So today we're going to be ranking every single boss in the game. Some of them have been removed, some of them are kind of mini bosses, but let's do it. I didn't plan this video beforehand. So we're going to get some raw thoughts. This is going to be really exciting. Also, if you can hear my fan, it's right there. It's very hot in my room. Okay, so we're starting off big with Okram. What are we rating Okram? So it goes from the best of the best all the way down to the bottom of the barrel bad. Um, somebody made this tier list. I didn't. I, I have never done one before either. Bit late to it. Um... Okram. So I'll be honest, I've only fought Okram uh, the once and never more than that. And I didn't really enjoy him. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm really sorry about this console, but I'm going to put him in. Not that great. He's not, uh, he's not terrible, but he's not that great. Eater of Worlds. Instant S tier. I love the Eater of Worlds. It's definitely one of my favorite bosses. Um, it might actually be my favorite boss. There's something about it I think is great. So the Destroyer. This is a good follow-up. The mechanical counterpart to the Squishy Boy himself. The Destroyer. I don't really like the Destroyer. <laughs> I don't. Um, well, I, I don't like it, but I wouldn't say I hate it. But I'm, I'm leaning towards neutral. Look at that. You see how I held it there for a second? I wasn't planning on it, but he's neutral. Moon Lord. Moon Lord's interesting. I have um, a weird relationship with Moon Lord because I don't really like him either. <laughs> Do you remember how I said I love Terraria? Turns out it's all a lie. But no, um, I do love Terraria. But the Moon Lord is... I don't know. Do I like him more than the Destroyer? Yeah, I would say so. For me, the Moon Lord's biggest problem is the pillars to get to the Moon Lord. By the time I'm actually at the Moon Lord, I'm, I'm done playing Terraria, as bad as that sounds. I will put the Moon Lord in neutral. I'm going to put him in neutral. I don't think he's pretty good, but I also don't think he's the same as Okram. Uh, the Flying Dutchman. I quite like the Flying Dutchman. I think it's a fun little boss. It doesn't drag on too long. It is a mini boss. Uh, it progresses the events a good amount. So I think the, the Flying Dutchman is probably pretty good. <laughs> this already looks a little scuffed. All right, I'm not going to lie. Okay, Empress of Light. I think Empress of Light, one of the newer bosses, is S tier. And I think that mainly because if it was just the one form, if it was just uh, nighttime, I would say amazing. I really do love it that much. But because you've got that daytime there, which adds an extra flavor to the fight, which no other boss has. I think it might be the best of the best. I really do like this. Betsy. Betsy, Betsy, Betsy. Betsy is another boss, which is almost like the Moon Lord, where you've got to slog through a whole bit of Terraria to, to get to the fight. But I really like... <laughs> and this is weird, because I've not done this for any of the others, but I really like Betsy's design. Betsy comes from the Old One's Army, you know, Dungeon Defender's Tomb. I think Betsy in Dungeon Defenders 2 is a generic dragon, but in Terraria, she's a bit of flavor. She is. She's a bit of flavor. She does flips. She's got fireballs. I think Betsy is pretty good. I would put it above the Flying Dutchman. Yeah, pretty good. Is it amazing? No. No, it's not amazing. Brain of Cthulhu. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> it's funny because I'm more corruption than Crimson. I think we all know this. But the Brain of Cthulhu. What are we thinking about this? Hmm. Okay. I think Brain of Cthulhu might just be pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not like... I'm not screaming about the Brain of Cthulhu. But it is kind of good. I like the... It's not the, the hardest fight in the world. It's got that squishy mechanic to it. Almost like the Empress... Um, sorry, the Eater of Worlds. I think the Brain of Cthulhu is... It's pretty good. Um, Dark Mage? Dark Mage is neutral. Dark Mage is neutral. It's not bad, but it's just, it's a mini boss. Okay, so the Dread Nautilus, 
or whatever it's called now. I think it's no wait, is it called the Dread Nautilus? It used to be called like the Blood Nautilus. I would say that it's not that great. I think it's not that great because you do the fishing event mainly to to get the summoning weapon, as we all know. But you have to hide in a box if you want to play as a summoner to do the fight. So I would say it's not that good for that reason. I think maybe it's a little bit overtuned, maybe. I like the sprite, I like the concept, but it's not that great. It's almost neutral, but I would I'd probably put it above Okram. <laughs> Move out of the way, Okram. All right. <laughs> Okram really is like bottom of the barrel. <laughs> but no, not that great. Okay, uh, Everscream. Everscream, to me, is pretty good. I'm pretty quick ranking that one. I really like the Christmas event. It makes me feel festive. I like Everscream. I like its drops. I like its design. I, I like. I really do like it. I almost like it more than the Brain of Cthulhu. And I'm going to swap that to there. <laughs> that's that's my new ranking. Okay. Eye of Cthulhu. Oh, what to say about the Eye of Cthulhu. Iconic boss. Almost the most iconic boss in the game. I think we can all agree that. Uh, the fight is pretty good. I would say with the expert mode version, it's 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 pretty amazing. I would say it's amazing. Yeah, it's good. I really like players that experience expert mode for the first time, and when it does that killer dash, I think it becomes awesome. So we move on. Um, goblin Summoner. I feel very neutral about this boss. It's just a Goblin Summoner. I almost wouldn't even consider it a mini boss. <laughs> It's a neutral. Ooh, Gollum. Gollum is a hard one because I really feel like Gollum has been... I think it's been underwhelming for a very long time. And I really did hope that, that 1.4 would, would actually change that. So they did change Gollum in 1.4, but I could not tell you what the changes are. And I play a lot of Terraria. If anybody was to know it, it should be me. I know you lot play more than me, but... I don't know what they did to it. It's too weak. I'm going to put it at not that great because they didn't buff it. Honestly, I really wish I'd recorded this in my pajamas. Today's video is proudly sponsored by Magic Spoon Cereal. So growing up, I absolutely loved cereal. And that's why I'm honestly so proud to be sponsored by Magic Spoon. For me as a kid, nothing could be that moment when you go to the shops with your parents and then you get to be the one that decides what cereal you're gonna be eating in the week. And I was lucky as well. I got to be part of the generation that had like actual toys inside cereal, which is like a whole other problem. But truthfully, as an adult, I don't really get the chance to eat it anymore because it's actually quite unhealthy. It's completely filled with calories and it's filled with sugar as well. So what's great about Magic Spoon for me is that in every serving, there is zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, four grams of net carbs, and around 140 calories. Meaning, honestly, I can eat this guilt-free. And because of that, I'm actually eating breakfast again. So not only is Magic Cereal super healthy and super nutritious, the flavors are the best part. So for example, Frosted actually reminds me of eating marshmallow cereal as a kid. Like it's kind of too good to be true. Uh, fruity is so nice. Peanut butter, again, a really great flavor. I really like peanut butter anything. And then cocoa. Cocoa is great. Like, I can't believe they've made a healthy chocolate cereal, but here it is. So these are Magic Spoon's four most popular flavors, and you can totally see why. They are keto-friendly, GMO-free, low-carb, gluten-free, grain-free, and also soy-free. Yeah, how did they do this? It's <laughs> Honestly, these are so nice. So if you want to be like me and pick up a variety pack, all you got to do is click the link down below or go to magicspoon.com slash chippy. Use coupon code chippy to save $5 off any order. Not only that, Magic Spoon is backed by a 100% happiness guarantee. So for any reason, if you don't like the cereal, you'll get a free return, no questions asked. Go and check them out using the link down below or you can find it pinned at the top section of the comments. Thank you once again to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our tier list. Right, so we're back uh, and we have the Headless Horseman. Is this a mini boss or is this an enemy? I would never consider this in a million years to be a mini boss. 
So I'm going to put it in neutral. I feel like it does not belong on this list, but I can't fault it for it. I... Oh, it's an ice golem. I was going to say I don't know what this is. <laughs> I was going to say, like, is this a modded... Is this a modded little mini boss? It's an ice golem. I quite like ice golem. I like ice golem because he gives great items. He's there at the start of hard mode. He's also fierce. You know, you've got to respect an ice golem. You don't want to get hit by that laser. I like his sound effects. I'm going to put him in pretty good. <laughs> is that weird? Does it put ice golem that high but not have any of these? Okay, Ice Queen on the other hand. So I feel like Ice Queen by default should be higher than all the other uh, Frost Moon stuff. But I don't know why it doesn't really click with me. It doesn't. It don't click with me in the same way that the Everscream does. Now I don't hate it, but it's definitely neutral for me. It's almost more neutral and they're doing the same pose than the Moon Lord. Ice Queen is... Yeah, she's all right. Her attacks are not too bad. She's not too she's not too hard. She's got good drops, but she's forgetful. She's at the end of the day, she's a mini event boss, and if I was to just go on design alone, I would pick the other screen. King Slime. King Slime. What to say about you? Um I don't know. It's a big slime. It's a big slime at the end of the day. He does have a crown. But is there anything to say? He's almost neutral. He is almost neutral. I wouldn't put him in not that great. I feel like... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I could almost put him in not that great, if I'm being honest. But neutral neutral seems right. Which ones of these do I prefer, though? I would say King Slime goes above these two. Because I do... I do like the Dark Mage. I like that she rises things from the, the grave. Now we're on to Lepus. Okay. Lepus. Lepus is... Is a boss. <laughs> so for those who don't know, if you don't recognize it, you might be a PC player. Lepus was a holiday exclusive item on mobile. It was like shoved into the game to promote Easter. <laughs> to promote Easter. It was just, it's just an Easter tie-in. Lepus is bottom of the barrel bad. I used to joke and say I really loved Lepus, but I don't. Lepus is really embarrassing, I'm sorry. I'm glad it was removed from Terraria. Look at its bloody eye. Look at that eyeball and tell me you're a proud Terraria fan. Nah, it's, it's bottom of the barrel. Okay, Lunatic Cultist. I feel like most people that have watched my Let's Plays before probably know... I don't really like the Lunatic Cultist. I'll tell you why. I don't like bosses that are small. I don't. I don't like bosses that are small. For me, when it comes to Terraria, a boss has to be larger than the player to really get my attention. And I say that even with the Dark Mage being here. I'm going to put it in neutral. I, I will not lower it to not that great because it is a fun fight. It's got dragons. It's got like mysticism. But it's... It's small. Okay. Flying Saucer. Now, if this was 1.3, I'd have stuck it right here. It's my least favorite thing on this list, probably. From, yeah, it almost is. Um, Yeah, the, the Martian Saucer is a lot better now because it got changed in 1.4, which I actually recommend it. That's right. Another little flex. <laughs> Uh, Martian Saucer is, is alright. It's neutral. I would probably put it about here. It's a mini boss at the end of the day. Gives the Cosmic Car key. Chaos really likes the Cosmic Car key because it's good for building. So, we put it there. Mothron. Mothron, I would have put in Terrible one, once upon a time. But I don't find it that bad anymore. I, I really didn't like it at a point. I feel like when I was doing yo-yo only, that's when I got really frustrated with Mothron. But I would put Mothron, honestly, in neutral. I, I don't feel too bad about this. I've begun to realize, by the way, a lot of these are neutral. And I think that's because, you know, obviously it's a big Terraria fan. There's nothing I truly, truly hate other than Lepus's stupid eyeball. Actually, we'll get to the bottom of the barrel in a bit. Um, Morning Woods. <laughs> Questionable name. I will put, I will put this here with the Everscreen. I quite like it. Even though it is a mini boss, it is part of, um, you know, an event. 
I quite like it. Yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna put it there. I, I, I would almost do this. I think that's a little bit better. That seems fairer. So now we're on to pillars. So I've gotta be flat out honest with you all of you. I don't like the pillars in Terraria. I really actually kind of hate them. So here's the thing. When I first played Terraria 1.3, six years ago almost to the day well actually just a little bit more than six years ago it, it came out in june 2015. when i first did it i didn't mind the pillars they were okay but now i hate them i've done them too many times i hate the the enemies you have to kill so many enemies i hate that it's the gateway to the moon lord i i hate them i i really hate them they're not going in the bottom of the barrel but bang all of these into terrible and here's the thing this one's the most terrible and this no wait this one's the least that's my order yeah that's my order okay i like the stardust um cells they're not too bad uh the nebula things are fine uh the little things that teleport the the brain ones hate them uh vortex they do my head in and solar is just the worst okay i'll cram again <laughs> but Okram being on it twice, he gets bottom of the barrel. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is like the Okram from console, and this is the Okram from mobile. Nah, I will, we'll put them together. Not that great. Ogre, I really like the ogre. I like his design. Um, for me personally as well, I really like the the stomp attack that he does. So he jumps up in the air and he stuns the player. And there's something I really like about that. I really wished Gollum would do that as well to punish you for flying around so much i yeah i actually prefer him i'm gonna put him in pretty good i might even put him there no i'm gonna i'm gonna put him there i like him that much i like him no he's good it's nothing to do with shrek <laughs> which i know some of you would have been thinking um pirate captain is not that great he's kind of a bullet sponge does anybody else feel like that he's not as bad as Gollum. But he is better than the Dreadnoughtless. Okay, Plantera. Plantera is a hard one. I love the Plantera fight. I love the music. I love the theme. I love where it's placed. I love the items. I really do love Plantera, but do you know what it is for me? It's building the arena for Plantera. I really wish it's, it is, it's impossible though. But I wish that Plantera could have been a bit more organic in the world in the sense of like, you actually fight it through the tunnels of the jungle. But the problem is, is if you want to win Plantera, especially in like master mode, you've got to build a big rectangle. And building rectangles multiple times kind of takes the luster out of it. I'm also going to lower it as well because I don't like the Plantera bulbs. Plantera bulbs take way too long to find. They're, they're kind of the worst. Amazing. It is really good. It's almost S tier, but for those reasons, it's it's amazing. Pump King. I really like the Pump King. I like the Pump King because it's thematic. Reminds me of Halloween. Great items. Comes in at a great time during the event. The only thing with the Pump King is it can be a little bit challenging. Those those pumpkin scythes are, are pretty hard to to dodge. I would almost put it in amazing. No, 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 wait, no. <laughs> it's not going in amazing. It's going to go here. Yeah, this seems right. I would rather... Yeah, this is looking good. This is looking good. No, I'm happy with that. Okay. Queen B. What can I say about Queen B? Um, well, Queen B is hard. I almost feel like she's got too much health as well. I like the aesthetic. I like the items. I like the, the hives in the world. I think she's a great fight to refight as well like her summon isn't it's not too expensive but it's really hard and now i know that's not a good reason to lower a boss down but I, I do think it's too hard i think in multiplayer it specs up really rough as well like when we did it with uh jaden and kelsey it was really hard and we were on expert mode i'm gonna put it in pretty good but i'm gonna put it below the brain of cthulhu i think that's fair I think I would rather fight the Brain of Cthulhu than the Queen Bee. So Queen Slime, one of the other two new bosses in Terraria. What do I say about this one? I will say um, it's a little forgetful. It's a little forgetful and it's a little bit too much like King Slime, which does make sense. Um, but 
I think the music is really good. I think her items are a little bit goofy though. I like the attack and I like the flying thing. Like as it turns into its second form, it's pretty good. I'm gonna put it in pretty good and I would put it above this, but it's not amazing. And it could have been, maybe. Sand Elemental, what do you say about this? I'm gonna slap that straight in neutral. It's a hard one to, it's a hard one to add. I would say that it's better than Mothrom. I, I'm gonna move the Lunatic Cultist actually. I think I did the, I think I did the Lunatic Cultist a bit dirty. <laughs> I'm gonna put it there. And is this seeming right? I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that seems about right. Actually, no wait. I'm gonna do that. She's all right. She's all right, but she's a mini boss. Um, so, uh, sand tank. What do I say about sand tank? I would probably put sand tank up here, probably in the middle of these two. I like the aesthetic. I do. Um, Skeletron. I like Skeletron. <laughs> Is that even showing on camera? I like Skeletron. Um, S tier, above the Eater of Worlds. I said it. My camera's gonna die. <laughs> it's flashing red. I need to wrap this up. <laughs> Skeletron Prime. Okay, what do we think about Skeletron Prime? I would say I like it more than the other two mech bosses. So I'm gonna put it in pretty good above Betsy. I think it's okay. I, I like it. I know I'm being pretty neutral about that one, but it's a good fight. It is a good fight. Twins as well. I'm gonna put above Betsy. I do like the twins. But I like the Skeletron Prime fight more. Okay, Turkor. Turkor is bomb of the barrel. No, actually. <laughs> I think Turkor is better than the Pillars. And I'll fight anyone about that. Turkor is another removed mobile boss. So, <laughs> it's so goofy. It's so goofy. I don't know if that's right. No, it's right. I'm committed to it. Wall of Flesh. Wall of Flesh is sick. I love the Wall of Flesh. I really like the Wall of Flesh fight, especially mobile. I'm pulling it above Skeletron Prime. I wouldn't call it amazing. I would call it, yeah, I like the Wall of Flesh. It It's lowered down from amazing because you have to build, no, actually, you don't have to build an arena, but you do have to prep hell. So I'm gonna go with that. Duke Fishron, I love Duke Fishron. I, I really do. It's a very hard fight, extremely hard, but it's satisfying to kill. It's really cool to kill. Yeah, Duke Fishrom, amazing. Above Plantera. No, actually, best of the best. There we go. That's my tier ranking. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this was a little bit impromptu, but I thought the camera died. <laughs> the camera died. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, <laughs> give the video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.